Good morning. Uh, it's an early September morning, um, and uh, on the last episode, uh, we pushed hard to cultivate and de stone uh, these fields. Uh, so they've all been done now. Uh, what you can see, it says it needs lime and it needs rolling. Um, so I think they're all roughly the same. Um, so we're going to have to get onto that today because uh, we want to get some wheat, ideally, in all these fields. Uh, the goal is to create enough chicken feed uh, moving forward. Uh, what we will do though is we'll go and look at the other fields that we have. Uh, so we've got one down here, uh, and then we've got field 12. So uh, I'm not sure uh, when uh, we need to harvest grapes, but that might be today. Uh, I don't think the grass is long enough, so that's still growing. Uh, so that's good. And then if I look at the uh, calendar, uh, it's got grapes uh, due for harvesting. Uh, so uh, we'll just drive over uh, to field 12. Uh, we're going to have a look at what the state of the, the grapes and the grass is over there. Okay, so over at field 12, um, still early in the morning, uh, grass is growing. But as you can see, there seems to be some nice grapes uh, on here. So we're definitely going to need to harvest those. Um, have no idea um, how we're going to do that. Uh, always kind of fun to learn. Uh, so more importantly, uh, the price of grapes is the grape processing unit or the farm shop. Uh, it's about fifteen hundred um, for I think a thousand liters. Um, and obviously, uh, to get the grapes, we need to lease some equipment. Um, ah. Some new toys to look at in the um in the for for sale on the cheap. Uh, right, so first of all, we need some grape technology. Uh, so we're going to need to lease this. Uh, we can't afford that. Uh, we're not far off, uh, but we're saving our money uh, for a bit more. So let's have a look how much it's going to cost us. So quite a lot, twelve thousand. Um, so. Um, that's quite expensive uh, for a, not many grapes um, and then we're going to need something to transport the grapes in um, so I um, don't know where to look for that but should find we'll see if it's in here we can have a look got the grape harvester here we go here's a trailer for it um, so uh, we, we can lease that as well. And that just goes on, I think, a normal tractor. Uh, maybe we can use the Landini with it, uh, but I'm sure we can just whack it in a, uh, on the back of a normal one. Uh, but first of all, uh, so we're gonna lease these, uh, but what we're gonna do first is we'll actually go back to the farm. Um, so on the fields, uh, we're gonna need to, we're gonna want to roll them. So um, I think the best thing to do is to lease a roller for now. I uh, just saw something in here but um, is that a roller? That's a grass roller, okay, not a, pro not a field roller. So uh, we will go into here, look at rollers. Uh, 41,000 for this one, 160 horsepower. I think uh, we've got a tractor that should pull that. Um, so we'll lease that today for 2,000, yeah. Um, and the goal will be uh, to get uh, one of the tractors, uh, probably use the, the Voltra on it, or the Volta. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, but yeah, we'll get working on both the fields. Um, so our plan for today is to roll uh, the three fields um, and to uh, put lime on them. We'll probably let them roll into October and then we'll seed them uh, with um, some wheat. Uh, I think looking at the planting calendar, we're okay to plant wheat in October. Uh, we could, um, you know, also leave it out and plant sorghum later in the year, but maybe we'll get another field before April and add some more um, food potential there. Um, uh, so yeah, so roll and lime today, uh, seed in October, and we'll also aim to get the grapes in uh, today as well. So I'll, I'll take this tractor over uh, to pick up the rollers and we'll get back to the field. 
Awesome. So uh, we're just pulling to the field here. Um, this one's always a bit annoying to do. Um, so I'll probably just do the first one uh, first. Uh, I think next season might look or soon turning it into one big field. It's two today. I think you can just plow in the middle. Could do it now. Mm, okay, maybe. Uh, we'll do it this way for now. Uh, so we'll get the rollers out. Hoping it would get rid of some of the weeds doing this, but it doesn't seem to. And this tractor is struggling. I'm wondering whether I need a front weight on it. Yeah, we're definitely struggling up the hill. Right, uh, so what we're going to do is... I am... Qu I'm going to quickly maybe see if there is a front weight for this. I'll just turn this around. We'll leave this here. I wonder if we can just leave it folded. Okay, hold on. There is a front weight in here somewhere. Anybody seen it? Thought I'd left it over here. There's one on that tractor. Is there one on the back of the other one too? Yeah, there is. Okay. Um, they're on the other tractors, so we'll use the one off. Let's get into the state of that one. Tractor out the way. All right, back in the middle. All right, let's go and get that on the front. Hopefully, that might help us get some more traction in the field. Or I just really need the need the bigger tractor. Right, let's go get the rollers back on. Hopefully, this will be a bit better. Right, see so how we go. All right, so we'll leave a worker on that. Um, hopefully, they'll do the rest of that field. We'll get them on the other two as well. Uh, so the other thing we wanted to do is uh, to get the grape trailer, uh, so we'll take this one over, uh, we'll leave the front load up just here, don't need that, uh, put it down, and uh, we'll head off uh, to go, uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we'll head off to the shop um, first of all. Okay, uh, so at the shop, uh, we're going to do two things. Uh, we're going to lease uh, the grape harvester. Uh, so if we go to this section, it tells us what we need to do for grapes. Uh, apparently, we need to come prune and fertilize, do some mulching, and a subsoiler. Huh, don't know what. Okay. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to lease this. So that's 841. Okay. And uh, we're going to lease the grape harvester for like 12,000. So it's per work hour. So we, we just want to go get it done so we don't spend any more money on it. Hopefully we don't have very many grapes. So hopefully it won't take very long at all. Um, and what we need to get about eight to 9,000 liters to break even of grapes. Uh, so just from the harvesting. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we should have the vehicles here. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the trailer on the uh, stair tractor. Is that how you pronounce it? My terrible reversing skills. And then uh, we'll get a worker to head over to field 12 with it. Uh, so create job. Uh, now we want to go to... Uh, field 12, which is up here, with the truck.
Okay, he's on his way, and we're going to get the great harvester, and uh, we will follow the tractor. Oh, interesting driving. Uh, so I don't even know how one of these works. I'm guessing there's a tank that fills up. Uh, a worker is blocked of getting a signal off. I don't know which worker that one is. Have a look at a sec. Oh, I'm yet to actually practice driving quickly. Uh, we'll just have a look at the other worker. Ah, they all seem. That's Jay. Uh, this is worker E in this one, so he seems, he's back moving forward, so it seems okay. Uh, maybe it's easier to drive it in um, first person, maybe. It's like a skinny cab. So, um, yeah, we'll just chase the tractor up and then hopefully um, get started on the grapes. Okay, so we've arrived at field 12. Um, I just got notified that the uh, roller worker has just finished that field, uh, which is good. Uh, I'm going to see if you can see it in the map. Um, see if we can see if, we can see if he's rolled it properly. Yeah, okay. Um, so you can see that he's kind of rolled um, this area, um, which is good, I think. You see. Don't know quite what all the little brown bits are. Maybe those are the weeds. Uh, but uh, we'll get them on uh, field 41 now and then on to 38 and get that completed. Hopefully. Let's do it this way. What's the easiest way? Up and down is probably quicker. So we're in the harvester. Um, I have no idea what the controls are. So but I'm told pretty standard. Is that it? <laughs> um, so we'll turn it on. Things are moving. Who knows how this works? I don't even know how to unload it. Maybe the truck is not parked in the best position. So I'm assuming we get up and down. Maybe I'll try to line up a bit better. I'm gonna get really annoyed with the truck being there on site. So. Hold on, I'm just gonna move the truck out of the way. So, does it go just in in there? I have no idea. Wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, maybe this can help me get a bit, a bit more guidance. So, turn it on. Is that working? Yeah, five litres, it's alright. Uh, we're in the cab. Okay, so it's not too bad. Not sure we're going to hit the um, 8,000 8, litres I was hoping for. Try and get a bit more central. <laughs> this is not going to get our money back at any time. Any at any time quickly. 
who eats plants and not all grapes. So, uh, spitting out at the end, can you see the grapes coming in anywhere? There they are. Pretty cool. Good looking machine. The best part of quarter of a million. So we just got shy of 500 litres a, a row, so we're definitely going to have some serious problems oh. in the money situation. It's all pretty good. Got to love the kind of graphics on the machinery. So we keep going, what we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six rows to go. Um, I don't know if we'll even fill up the machine once, and uh, we still need to work out how to empty it. I'm assuming something lifts up. All backwards, so um, we'll have a look at that. Okay, so we finished the, yeah, we finished the grape harvest and we've only got two and a half thousand liters. So that's like about a quarter of the target I was potentially hoping for. Um, I know we didn't fertilize or do any kind of maintenance to these, um, <laughs> but <laughs> that is not good. So now we need to work out how we empty this somehow anyone got any ideas uh, who knows uh, it's got a funny hmm just do not know I'm assuming it kind of backs into these things oh. again I have not parked the truck in a good place Right, so, the vain hope that it doesn't, oh, haha, <laughs> tells me how to do it anyway. There we go. So once this is finished, uh, we'll get rid of the harvester, because we don't need that. Boom. Now uh, we've got the grapes, uh, so we're just going to head over to the grape processing plant, which I believe is quite close. Here we go, so just at the farm track behind me, up there. And uh, we'll get these sold, or I think actually price-wise, if I remember, we could just go up to the farm shop as well. Yeah, the farm shop's offering a bit more, which is just up here, so uh, we'll go up there and sell the grapes to see exactly what means the amount of money we get. So it cost us 12 and a bit for the harvester and another 900 for the trailer. Uh, we spent over 50,000 planting uh, the grapes, um, so I wonder what wonderful amount of money we'll get from this. Hopefully it's in here. No.
They don't want the grapes there. They have the grapes here. <coughs> Three thousand. That was just not very good at all. <laughs> so uh, we just lost the best part of 10k this morning. Um, yes, I can see that the grapes may not be a good investment moving forward. What we could try uh, is either adding a few more or uh, looking to get some slightly better uh, get some fertilizer on it and, and looking after them a bit better uh, both of which could be an option well we don't need the grape trailer anymore okay so nothing else to do on field 12 today um, and this will probably be enough of the episode um, so uh, we'll just kind of get these vehicles back um, to the farm and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you very much.